when you start seeing your worth, you'll find it hard to be around people who don't. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we learn about 10 things confident people simply never do. Enjoy. Today, we're going to learn about 10 things confident people never do. Now, let's begin. Number one, discount their worth. Just think about the world's most successful people. Billionaire CEOs, celebrated artists, people who have cemented themselves into the analogs of history. What do you have in common with all these incredibly successful individuals? Well, most people would say that you've got nothing in common, that these successful people have separated themselves from the rest of the herd, that they're somehow better suited for success than everyone else. But every time you put these people on a pedestal, you're doing something that confident people never, ever do. You're discounting your own worth. You're assuming that you aren't capable of achieving the same success or accomplishing your own lofty ambitions. The truth is that most of these world-renowned people started out in the same exact, same position as you are right now. They looked up to other successful people, and they dreamt of following in their footsteps. But instead of assuming that they weren't good enough, these people found the courage to chase their dreams and make them a reality. That's why confident people never discount their own worth. When you genuinely believe in yourself, you can achieve just about anything. Number 2. Demand Attention Confident people have no problem stepping into the spotlight, but they never demand attention from anyone. Why? Well, because they don't really need it. Truly confident people never derive their confidence from the world around them. You see, there are two types of confident people. The first type gathers confidence directly from their environment. When they feel admired and popular, then they get a sudden burst of courage and self-worth. They flourish under the spotlight. But this kind of confidence is only temporary. As soon as people stop paying attention to them, their confidence fades, and they start to feel just as insecure as they did before. Ah, but the second type of confident person doesn't need the spotlight to feel confident. Their confidence comes from their values, their goals, and achievements. They're proud of the individual that they are, so they don't really care what people think about them. Now, while type 1 is constantly searching for attention, type 2 focuses on their own progress. They concentrate on what's important to them instead of catering to the crowd. So don't rely on other people's approval to be yourself. If you want to build real confidence, then you have to find that validation from within. Number 3. Undeserved Titles Confident people never overestimate their own expertise or claim titles that they haven't earned. Insecure people make this mistake all the time. They're scared that other people are going to look down on them or that someone else is going to overshadow their accomplishments. So they start claiming titles that they don't deserve. In their mind, more titles means more respect. They think by saying that they're an artist, a writer, or an entrepreneur, that people will like them more, and that makes them feel better about themselves. But confident people never use titles that they haven't worked for, because they don't need to convince anyone but themselves. And they already know whether they've earned the right to hold that title. Many confident people avoid titles altogether. For example, a confident person might have published all kinds of stories and novels over the years, but they might rarely ever identify themselves as a writer. But it's not because they aren't proud of their hard work, it's just because they don't need to rely on titles or categories to establish their value. They know exactly what they've accomplished, and that's all that matters to them. Number 4. Lie to yourself 
Confidence doesn't mean you need to constantly build yourself up. You don't have to believe that you're always making the right decision or doing the right thing. Many people fall into this trap where their confidence depends entirely on their success. Their ego becomes so fragile that they have to lie to themselves to keep moving forward. They have to distort their self-image and ignore their mistakes, because admitting that they failed, huh, that would be too much to handle. Truly confident people never lie to themselves or pretend that they're something they're not. Because confident people have the courage to honestly reflect on both their successes and their failures. They already know what kind of person they are, and they know that they have weaknesses just like everyone else. So when a confident person makes a mistake, they don't need to bend the truth. They can take a good hard look at themselves, figure out what went wrong, and make sure they do better the next time. Number 5. Running from Self-Doubt Fear isn't always your enemy. Confident people know that better than anyone. They don't let fear stop them from accomplishing their goals or taking on new challenges. But that doesn't mean confident people ignore their doubts. In fact, confident people rarely let their fears go unnoticed. The trick is to understand why your fear is useful. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde. Or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.